seal grips a diver's hand underwater. Then things took an even stranger turn. An old hand at Aquatic Adventure, 55-year-old Gary Grayson has been scuba diving many times before. Yet this underwater encounter was unlike anything he'd ever experienced. The seal approached him, and Grayson wasn't expecting anything other than a brief glimpse as the creature passed. But then something truly amazing happened, which, if he hadn't been wearing a mask, would have left him breathless. Grayson lives in Worsley, part of the city of Salford near Manchester in the north of the UK. And although he's a businessman in his everyday life, Grayson has another side to his identity, thrill seeker. His high octane hobbies include motorbike riding, skydiving, and obviously deep sea diving. And while he's experiencing life in the fast lane, Grayson likes to act as a videographer for his various adventures. Diving seems to be taking over as his main passion, though, and a below the waves encounter of recent years has lent him a degree of fame in the subsea game. In 2014, Grayson was diving off the Silly Isles to the southwest of Cornwall in the UK, where he had a chance meeting that wasn't only unexpected but totally unforgettable. Fortunately, too, Grayson and his team captured the event on camera to share with the world. Grayson uploaded the video to his YouTube channel on August 1, 2014, and it subsequently went viral. During his recorded dive, Grayson comes face to face with an especially forward Atlantic gray seal. And while he'd seen the mammals many times before, he never expected to be this close to one. Speaking to his local newspaper, the Manchester Evening News, Grayson said, I had seen other seals in the water, but they just buzzed past us. None was as inquisitive as he was. What's more, after he came over to investigate Grayson, the mammal's curiosity only grew. Then suddenly the seal put his face right up against Grayson's mask. Initially, he took an interest in the diver's equipment and particularly the bubbles coming from his breathing apparatus. The seal seemed fascinated by the stream of froth jetting into the water. But it was when the seal lost interest in the bubbles that something remarkable happened. Grayson felt something close around his hand, and when he looked down, the seal was grasping it in his webbed flipper. It looked like the diver had made a new friend. That seemingly the case, Grayson shook hands with the seal but he couldn't have predicted what happened next. It appeared that the seal wanted something from the diver, so nibbled lightly at his hand to keep its attention. Then the seal did something incredible. As Grayson patted the seal, the mammal rolled around in the water and presented his tummy to him. The adorable sea creature was acting just like a playful puppy, and he even wanted a belly rub. Later on, the adventurer gave the experience his wholehearted seal of approval. I'm an experienced diver, but I've never known anything like that, Grayson told the Manchester Evening News. I've been all over the world, to Mexico and Cuba, to dive with great big mantas and sharks, but this was certainly up there with anything I've ever done. The Internet certainly loved watching the sea creature enjoy Grayson's affection. To date, the videos received more than 10 million views. This is wonderful, one commenter said. No matter what creature we may be, sometimes we just want our belly rubbed back scratched or a hug. And while few would argue that the mammal's antics in the video aren't adorable, other viewers offered up an alternative option. Actually, seals are wild animals. While it's okay to let them come up and make contact, it's generally bad to pet them or otherwise encourage contact, another YouTuber said. Not all humans are as kind to seals. So where does the truth lie? As is often the case, it's somewhere between the two viewpoints. Ali McMillan, director of the charity Seal Rescue Ireland, based in County Wexford, Ireland, spoke to the Huffington Post on the subject in September 2015. This seal is part of a colony where divers dive on a regular basis, she explained, and so these seals have become, obviously, very used to people and allow them to get very close. Not all seals are like this, and if approached, could well cause harm if they feel threatened. This is due to their large size and very sharp teeth. Wildlife are better off being left wild, McMillan said. So while in Grayson's case the encounter was totally unthreatening, unless you're with experts, contact is not encouraged. It's not just for your own safety either. Some human contact may pose a threat to trusting seals. Laura Scher, public relations liaison at veterinary research facility 
the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, California, confirms McMillan's opinion. Here at the center, we are very invested in ensuring that wild animals stay wild, she said. About 15 percent of our patients come in because of direct result of human interaction, such as a gunshot wound, illegal pickups and entanglements, Cher added. She further explained that seals and humans share communicable diseases that can cross species. Despite these facts, however, Grayson's encounter was an amazing one that most people will never have the opportunity to experience. And he didn't just make one friend either. Even as the first seal said goodbye, a second mammal tried to get his attention by climbing his leg. I've seen interaction with other guys and girls under the water when they've had their fins nibbled or they've been buzzed by seals, Grayson told Cornish radio station Pirate FM. But never any interaction such as I got on that day. I was very, very fortunate. It was just a very emotional, humbling experience. Please share this with your friends and family.